that. You need the sunglasses, everything to try and stay nice and cool in these current conditions because we're already into the 90s for most of central Iowa, only Marshalltown as well. As, nope, it's just Marshalltown just holding on to the upper 80s. Everyone else has already made it on up and some spots like Carroll and Newton are already feeling like the triple digits because of the additional moisture in the atmosphere. Looking out on the downtown sky cam, we do have those mostly clear skies sticking around with us. 91 degrees right now. Those dew points in the 70s, so you know you're feeling them. In addition to that, though, we do have a little bit of a breeze coming in at just 10 miles per hour coming out of the southwest. The good news is maybe that'll give you some relief. The bad news is that southerly winds are typically driving in those warmer temperatures, so probably not as much relief as we would like. Yesterday's daytime high was 92 degrees. We're getting real close to it. That's for Des Moines. The average high for this time of year is 86 degrees, so 5 to 10 degrees above normal is where we've been sitting and will continue to stay for today, but there are some changes on the horizon. In terms of what things will feel like for the rest of today, we'll likely settle with those temperatures in the low to mid 90s for those actual air temperatures for daytime highs, but your uh, feels like values. I almost said wind chills. This is not a wind chill, folks. This is a heat index. These are going to be reaching up toward the triple digits, barely coming down from those 90s as we head into the later evening hours. Overnight, you're still feeling like even the 80s, so definitely some warm air out there, which is why that heat advisory has been issued lasting from noon. We're already in it until 8 p.m. this evening. So today, sunshine heat. That's the way we're going to handle things. But overnight, we're going to start to see some changes. It'll be mostly clear, but some storms are expected to start later to the west. Those are expected to eventually impact us. Let's look at that timing right now. You can see all those storms assembling off to the west. That could mean some severe weather for our neighboring states. But for us, it's going to likely sink on down to the south before really having much of an impact. I think early tomorrow morning right here on KCCI we'll be tracking it. We could see a couple quick isolated storms, but nothing too significant. Not until the afternoon hours. That's when spots like Fort Dodge are likely to see some of these storms redevelop and continue to push up to the northeast. Also areas where we have the highest concern for the potential of severe weather. As far as how much rain, well, these numbers have fluctuated a bit throughout the day, but I think around a half inch or so is what we'll see for areas farther to the north. We could possibly see higher amounts inside some of those thunderstorms, lower amounts as we go a bit farther to the south. Probably not going to see as much of this. A marginal to slight risk for that severe weather for tomorrow. Like I said, large hail, damaging winds, and an isolated tornado or two, not out of the question. Definitely some heavy rainfall rates in there as well underneath some of those thunderstorms. We might have a few lingering showers into your Friday. Saturday chances increase primarily for the morning and early afternoon hours for those storms. But temperatures are finally going back to what's considered normal for this time of year in the mid 80s. We will be warming up though already as we look toward the middle of next week back up into the low 90s.